somebody with a bottle of rum now. Ooh. Not bad. Now sit down. Watch the act. I think I'm due for a bit of time off, a bit of entertainment. Uh. Oh, I like it. Nice, nice little nightclub. Whoa, I like the women. Cool. I think I'll have some water. I got the dry horrors from that rum. Oh, I won't take any more drugs. Uh, I have a bottle of uh, purified water. Whoa. We might have a closer look. Been seen a bit of action. <coughs> Might as well get my last eyeful. <laughs> See you later, Jewel. That was fun. Have a nice night. Did uh, I feel great? Uh. Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Fallout 4: Rise of the Minutemen. Uh, this is the next day, about lunchtime. Had a bit of a late night at the, in the adult part of town, so yeah. uh, a few beers and... The Super Salon can give you the hairstyle of your dream. And uh, I'm going to go and try and um, see Piper to um, maybe get Nick Valentine interested in my story. I can't afford to... Um, let uh, dog meat go because I'd lose all my bonuses so um, it would have been nice having her as a uh, um, companion because I don't mind Piper I'll give her a good set of uh, clothes and weapons and she can hold her own so much dirt in that hair? get it trimmed you won't regret it whatever you want I ain't got time all right, well, I'm not talking to you. 
Alright, um, as you can see it's raining again, nothing unusual about that. I, I <coughs> stayed in a flop house last night, the usual flop house, and then I, um, the doctor obviously stays there too because he fixed me up. <laughs> All right, um, this is this badge I got on my, oh, on my arm means I'm part of the ex expeditionary force, the cloth badge. Okay, Let's see how this goes. Hello, anybody home? Oh. Um, well, where are you? Huh? Oh, sneak. Oh, hey, where are you? Oh, sneaking up on me. Four. Piper. Holding up, Blue? Why are you calling me that? Because you're a vault dweller? <laughs> I know you're not wearing the blue jumpsuit right now, but the Pip Boy and the fish out of water look. Dead giveaways. So here's the deal. I want an interview. Your life story in print. I think it's time Diamond City had a little outside perspective on the Commonwealth. You do that, and uh, I'll tell you what. I'll come with you. Watch your back while you get used to the world above ground. What kind of interview is this going to be? I ask you who you are, get your opinion on life out there, and maybe load up a few tough questions and keep it interesting. What do you say? <laughs> I'm not a vault dweller, but... All right, Piper. I'm in. Good. Let's get down to business. So, you've seen the Commonwealth, Diamond City. How does it compare to your old life? Honestly, seeing everyone surviving out here, rebuilding the world, it gives me hope. That's surprisingly inspired, Blue. We're definitely quoting that. For the last part of our interview, I'd like to do something different. I want you to make a statement to Diamond City directly. The threat of kidnapping is all but ignored in the Commonwealth. Everyone wants to pretend it just doesn't happen. What would you say to someone out there who's lost a loved one but might be too scared or too numb to the world to look for them? Find who's responsible and make them pay. Simple as that. I'll take anger over apathy any day. Good quote. Thanks, Blue. That's everything. It's gonna take some time to put this all together, but I think your story is gonna give Diamond City plenty to talk about. Anyway, I agreed to come with you, right? Watch your back. Just say the word when you're ready. I can't wait to see where the story goes next. Well, oh, sorry, Piper. He'll be waiting here a long time, unless I can modify my radio equipment. Um, all right. Let's go. Got a nick. Uh, Valentine's. Watch your back. Institute could be right uh, behind you. Fucking. Hey, Nat. Read the paper, mister. Trust mm. me. Alright. I'll read the paper. <coughs> oh, now, Red Storm's coming up. I'll have a look in here. Gee, just, no, just walked away from the thing. Uh, hello. Red Storm. Huh? Have you been here before? Nope. First time. Thought so. Some ground rules. This isn't a charity. Clothes are for sale if you have the money. Otherwise, the door is right there. No mooching. Got it. Good. Now that we understand each other, welcome to Fallon's. Happy to show you everything in stock. Fallon's Basement. Interesting name. Yeah, it's ancient. There was a Fallon's here back even before the war. Granddad always said we had a tradition of quality and affordability. Guess affordability got too expensive for some folks. Damn thieves. And it ain't like Diamond City Security helps. Why doesn't Diamond City Security help you? <sighs> My husband got taken, all right, by the Institute. Security wouldn't look into it. I raised a stink, and now I'm blacklisted. Your husband was taken by the Institute? Well, he ain't here anymore, that's for sure. Not like the Institute leaves a trail besides those damn synths. Sure. Let's take a look. A paying customer. Finally. I have some psycho. 
um, and some Addictol, <coughs> and I'll sell them um, uh, the, uh, the goggles and um, hacked goggles and a Radar Anarchy thing, and I'll give them some about sixty-three dollars. Pretty warm money. I'll get six caps per dollar. Um, all right. Oh, this is an interesting place. Never knew this existed here. It's in this basement. All right. See you later. Thanks a lot. Have fun. On to Valentine's. Let's see what he's got to say for himself. Ellie, are you here? Nick. Oh God, it's really you. Well, it's hard to mistake this mug for anyone else. <laughs> you keep laughing at death. Someday, death's gonna laugh back. Not as long as I got a few friends to back me up. You saved Nick, this agency, and my job. Thank you. Happy to do it. Yeah? Go diving into scary pre-war ruins all the time then, do you? Here, every cap we agreed to for finding him. Plus a little something extra. You know... If you're looking for work and don't mind putting on the detective hat, Nick sure could use a new partner. Whoa. One case at a time, Ellie. Our new friend needs our help first. All right, let's get down to business. Take a seat. Make yourself comfortable. Take a load off. All right. Yeah. When you're trying to find someone who's gone missing, the devil is in the details. Tell me everything you can, no matter how painful it might be. What have you heard? Mm, nothing over here. We'll talk later. You know where to find me. Hmm. I'm not getting any dialogue options. <coughs> None to um, carry the conversation on. All right. Uh, shit. Um, I'll try and do a case for him. Maybe that might get him... Um, uh, Oh, what's that? A magazine. Robco fun. Hell yeah. Okay. Oh, right. As if I've got time to play um, games. All right. Well, I'll see if I can get any good side and do a case for him. Oops, sorry. Um, whoa. It's um, a bad reflex I got after I got hit in the head with some shrapnel. Here we go, there's a Marty The Marty Bullfinch, Bullfinch case. Okay. Marty was Nick's partner. Emphasis on the was. He must right have been up. some kind of desperate to come to us for help after all this time. Okay. Let's have a look. I'll put the hollow tape in. Nicky, you old fucking of bolts, it's Marty. I know it's been a while, but I came across a little mystery I thought might get your circuits firing. You remember that ugly grasshopper statue on top of Faneuil Hall? Turns out it's got a note in it. A note written by the son of one, Shem Drown. I don't expect that name means anything to you, but the guy was a coppersmith. Way back when folks did shit like that. Apparently, this note leads straight to the old guy's stash. I don't know what's in it, but I'd sure like to know if it's still there. I'm gonna go do a little recon on the hall. If you decide you want to get the team back together, you let me know. Nick. Tell me everything you can, no matter how painful it might be. What have you heard? Mm, nothing over here. We'll talk later. You know where to find me. Miss Perkins. If you see him, tell Marty I say, Hey, where's my 20 caps, you old lech? Also, hi. Right, Fenrir Hall is not too far away, but we've got an attack at um, Hangman's Alley, which is really close. So, we're on our way to Hangman's Alley, because it's only just down the road. We'll deal with that, and then we'll, we'll be off. I think yes, everything's fucked up now. Unless I can save it uh, by doing this um, Gilded Grasshopper. And, Nothing um, to see here. All right. 
Um, oh, shit, I should have turned that friggin' radio off. Uh, okay, we'll go down this. Uh, here we go. Which street? We'll go down this one. It should be fairly safe here because there's still uh, lots of guards here. We're coming up to where the mutants are, usually. So, um, might be a bit of a shit fight here. Oh, but there's a guard here, so that's pretty well right. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, no, they're there. Oh, no, that's, that's friggin', um, Hangman's Alley. That's Hangman's Alley that's shooting. Alright, we'll come in through the, um, side exit. Get in there. Oh, lag, lag. Okay. Can't see anybody. Fucking. Right. Lock, lock. So they can't get out. Right. Uh, they're all shooting. Right. Oh, there's one. Raider. Alright, we haven't got an eagle here. There's not enough room for one. Uh, so I'll have to um, scrap the body. Well, this has been a couple of days since um, the attack. I've done a few things around here. Yeah, the problem is we've got to leave this gate open and they just come through here. I've really beefed up the defence here. There's, there'd be a laser shit fight coming through here. I don't really dare use... Um, missile huh? turrets here because it's too much collateral damage. Um, I've replaced the machine guns, heavy machine guns, all the heavy machine guns up there with heavy laser turrets. Yes. And I've got um, this one here also. There's uh, the heavy machine guns are up up at the corner thing. Um, There's only so much I can do, uh, as I say, because I've got to have the gate open for um, the trader to come in and out. I suppose I could have just had it. The Brahman didn't fit well through the yeah. small door, and uh, the Brahman they can fit well easy now. But as I say, it's <coughs> so I'll give you a bit of a tour. Um, I've got the beacon turned off because there's too many settlers here. I've got to, I'll, um, I can turn them all in as troops. I should arm them all, turn them into the spare ones, into uh, minute men because I'm um, pretty well. Once all these um, settlements have joined, <coughs> I have um, no problems uh, with. Um, what I need to build shit. Hang on. Okay, right. Um Top of Shea is there was one now. There's two of these turrets here. Um, I've removed the bodies that were hanging here. I should probably put another turret on there. It's uh, where one of the heavy machine guns go, and that covers right up the street there. <coughs> that big turret, that missile turret, is virtually useless. Up there, can only shoot the hostile targets from here up to about here. I've got to re-deploy um, it somewhere, probably where this turret is here, because they can give a good sweeping view of the street. And oh, I'll put another one up there. Oh, 
worry about that when I come back. Um, this is all yeah. virtually the same. Um, what I've had to do, I've replaced everything with a hundred because uh, I had um, two of these smaller ones in here. I replaced this with a, a big 100 water and I'll put another water, I'll put two water pumps in here. Well, there's another water pump. I've moved <coughs> that other water pump here because that got damaged in the last attack. This is why I keep this type of infrastructure in a room like this and locked. So, um, it's got less chance of getting damaged because it was sitting here. Um, I've oh, still got the shower there. Now there's three showers and three sets of top of toilets. Um, oh, lag, lag. Alright, I've got to, I'm most probably have to move this bed because there's a men's type toilet here and getting ready area for the disciplines. Um That works, if I go there and stand and piss, um, it'll piss, but um, uh, can interfere with the animation of me ha sitting down having a crap. So uh, I try and avoid it. Uh, anyway, these are uh, two more shower areas put in, another toilet. So there's three toilets here, so that's, that's, that's more than one for ten. Oh, geez, getting a lot of lag here today. Yeah. She's uh, doing that medical scrapper station. I've, I've still got people doing these scrapping jobs, that means I've still got um, more. You hear about that farm run by rules? Yeah, yeah, we, uh, this is part of the settlement. Well, I've got a life beginner area here. Here, here. Yeah, okay. You could do it a shower, would you? This is what happened uh, when um, I got, I set my um, shower mod to dirty for me to get dirty, and these NPCs get dirty, and um, they don't, um, huh, they don't wash. <laughs> If I didn't set myself to get dirty, um, they'd all be clean. Um, yeah, this might like to be in it. Um, oh. um, uh, <laughs> did I just see that? <coughs> and uh, this is going to, this is going to probably be uh, the clothing store, uh -huh. the haunted store. Um, but I just stuck that there to raise people's um, awareness of fitness. I might. Uh, I gotta put it. I gotta put it here somewhere. Hang on. Sorry about that. So I demanded to get fed. <coughs> um, right, there's one more bit to show. Need something? You know, this is. <coughs> Um, and now I decide to move out of the settlement, it starts to rain, yesterday was, uh, can I get, I get lost, get lost in this place. Um, did you work with me? Yeah, so, what I've done also is, I've heavily, because I found that, yeah, well, there's all these assholes around here, so what I've done is I've replaced, I only had these two heavy machine gun turrets here, and they were both knocked out last time, so, and that turret up there, this little laser turret here, so, um, now I've mossed it up by two heavy lasers, I've moved it to, see these are damaged, what are they, are they? Mark three. Yeah, and I stuck this one right next to that. 
uh, I'll just uh, pick that up if I want to, but uh, oh well, I'll put in a few more plants and this Brahmin's living a city life. Okay then, um, as I probably mentioned before, uh, can't understand why uh, Nick Valentine won't um, go on with this quest to find uh, Kellogg and stuff. Um, I figure if I might just do this, um, might get him, uh, oh look there's a body out here still. Uh, might be able to uh, get him <coughs> to um, start, start up, start up dialogue for uh, the vault that would dwell a quest. Alright dog meat, we're um... So oh, Marty Bullfinch reckons there's a treasure map inside some sort of grasshopper. Gilded grasshopper at Vineyard Hall. We've been past that hall, that's um, full of... that had mutants in it. That's near that um access to that railway blocked off subway thing uh. alright now yeah, we'll go we'll follow the waterfront which seems to be about the quickest way because uh, it's been uh, pretty well cleared probably come up with, uh, they've probably got some more sentries outside the book club near club snuggle <laughs> Amazing, they come out there to go and change shifts all of a sudden everybody out front that's supposed to be defending the place is dead and both their turrets are knocked out. <laughs> oh fuck, I wonder who keeps on doing this shit to us. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't, uh, wouldn't inspire much confidence to that. There's, you can see someone. Heard me. Okay, see you later lady. I'll take the turret out too. Okay. Ooh, you can see that one coming. Turret's gone. Alright, we're going to take out the one in the shopping cart. You'd think they'd change their um, setup. <laughs> uh, I've got to get over a bit more, a bit more. Got to try and get a better angle on it. Oh, hit, shit, hit the post. Ooh, hey, you. come back! You fucking hide from me! Uh oh, here we go. Ooh, not hiding from you, you're dead. <coughs> Good one, dog meat. Good for a big snarl. Ooh, shit, not really rich raiders. <laughs> That would, have, that would have thought that all the cows had come home if they found, got me dead. I've got a couple of thousand caps on me. I've got weapons and ammo and radio and everything. Oh, shoddy. Oh, okay. But that, he's got one of those shotgun pistols. They're not bad. They're, um, pretty effective, not powerful. Uh, oh well, when the next ship comes out to relieve this lot, they're going to go, oh, not again. <laughs> well, I shouldn't, uh, well, take that. And then, now yeah, they've got to repair the turrets too, which wouldn't be, um, I'll put a fresh mag on, which means, it, oh, 
they are thirsty. You know, with all this water up and wet as anything, well, it didn't sound it like soak in somehow. <laughs> oh, what's that? That looks like someone there. Uh, it's just crap. Well, that'd be stupid if they still stand there after all, all this had happened. Uh, I'm gonna have a smoke. Oh. Well, now the rain stopped and the day's turned beautiful. Look at it. Blue, cl blue sky, bit of cumulus cloud. <sighs> now just be able to dry off. Uh, nothing in there. So it gets raided quite a bit. Being on the broadwalk type thing. That, if you can call it that, whatever they call this. Again. Oh, there's, there's, <laughs> this place must be, oh, I'm going to have to go there one day. This place must be in high demand. Oh, great, they've got the machine filled up. Ah, it's one thing about this club snuggle, they like their uh, full yeah, nuclear coal machine. Yeah, well, I might take us out on the way back. Oh, hanging to go there. I'll have to get a suit. And, um... Rock in, suit and a fedora. That make me look cool. I can't take um, got Newton down on the uh, crosswalk. He's usually got a rocket launcher on him. Huh. That's another one. Okay, go. Your time to your turn to go and relieve um, the super. Um, Grigor on the crosswalk. <laughs> Comes up, oh, Grigor is dead. <laughs> he, fuck me, he keeps on shooting now. Guy on the crosswalk. Oh, missiles, shit, this is gonna be heavy. Ooh. I'm gonna go and stash him outside the club because um, I'll have a bottle of vodka. <sighs> Oh, now my vision's but thing a bit blurry. I'll stash them outside Club Snuggle because I might be able to go in there and flog them off one day. And um, I'll get a good price. I might be able to buy drugs and stuff from there. Oh, no, I've got hey. shit to do. Hey, I think I got some. Uh, there you go. Happily, I don't want to go and look in this bin. <laughs> Here's some people throw some good shit away. <laughs> There's a missile, missile launcher and five missiles here. Uh, really been through that. Uh, gotta get my vet's glove out to go. Uh, here we go, oh, smoke it, yeah. No. Well, they're no use, those things, they can't cool. I've got no door, so they can't cool, keep the bottles cold. Which way is the easiest way I've got to... Oh, here we go. We've come up to these, um... These slacker religious people. Or cult people, not religious. Give us all your shit. They sit around doing nothing all day. Comfy pillow, great. I can do with one of them. Give it a bit of a wash. Yeah, they don't do much. I think they'd have a garden or something like that. Um, let me have a look there. There's a bit, a bit of caution around here. Um, what a funny feeling. Can't see shit again. It was a beautiful day for an hour. And then because of all this rain and sunshine, all this humidity is built up, this seems to be the fastest way. Now I can't see shit. I'm really glad I got the... Oh, there's a bear. There's a bear in there. Haha. <laughs> uh, you grow. 
so it's over there. I might be able to get some fresh bear meat. That's pretty good, this you guy meat because it's damage resist. I think it's damage resistance. You get. I probably should have, should have crouched for sneak attack. Right. I'll rely on Harry's. Uh. Ooh, shit, what happened there? Uh, someone's dog meat or something. Ooh, ooh shit, got him. Where's dog meat? Who's that? Fucking hell. Probably attacking dog meat or something. I don't know, I'm gonna shoot them all over. Fuck, here we go. Right, wounded them. Hide behind the wall. Ooh, fuck. Might have got him. Come here, stay here, dog meat. Don't, don't leave. Oh, shit. Maybe I should get my um, rifle out. Ooh. Luckily I got pretty good armor. Take the fucking head. Ooh. Come on, stick your head around there. So fucking... Ooh. Look at all the fire pipe coming down on this. Ooh, that is fucking ugly. Dog meat, stay out of the way. Fuck's sake. Forcing me out there to go and... Forcing me out there. I have to go out there and fucking... Where is he? Ah, oh, shit, he's chewing on some friggin' super mutant. Ooh, there he is. Ah, oh, fuck, look at... Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Am I getting him? Oh, God. Am I shooting him? Oh, I don't think I'm... Fucking... Oh, come on. Oh, gotta go out there. Fuck you. Good one, dog meat. Oh, fuck. oh shit, there's someone out there still. Oh, fucking hell, many of them are there. Oh shit, oh. Oh, dog meat, come here. Dog meat. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, there you are. Well, you haven't got much chance of eating you. Throw, probably throw a grenade. Um, we'll get a grenade out. Chuck one down there. As long as I don't get shot when I go to throw it. There we go. Ugh. They're really good. Ooh, nah. Ooh. Shit. Ooh, fuck. There's another one. Ooh. Probably be better off shooting with my rifle. Ooh. At least I get to go and um, really clear a target. Um, but this one's got the highest, this one's got the highest part penetration. It's got armor that pen uh, penetrate. Um, oh, I don't think I'm, I'm just shooting the wall. There he is. Fucking hell. Oh, God. Fucking jeez, I'm taking a few shots. Dog me eat, stay out of the way. Fucking hell. Oh, God. Uh, better go and put a bandage on. Where are you, you fuck? Oh, got him. Still one left there somewhere. Oh, where are you? Fuck. Ooh. Oh, throw another grenade. Oh, God. Ah, uh, put a bandage. Oh shit! <laughs> Wrap myself up in bandages and um, I'll put uh, take a blood pack and have um, <coughs> uh, 
have some water and um, some psycho. Oh, this is the worst thing I've ever done. I, I should I really know what not to do. Oh, that's this guy was shooting at me from above. That's how come I was getting shot. Oh, he's got goggles on too. Oh, fuck. Oh. Well, that sorted that out. I, I was too busy looking down the bottom there instead. I didn't see him up top. I suppose my uh, body cam footage will show that I'm a real dickhead. <laughs> I was going to take a while for this psycho dick to wear off and I'm going to see shit. <laughs> Oh, I keep on forgetting that they use Psycho when um, there's this mist around. Luckily I got vats. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, a bit of a street fight. I'd be, I've cleared these people out. Why do they just say, oh, this, is, this post can only be hired for uh, leased out to super mutants. This place can only be leased God. out to raiders. <coughs> okay, I'll take that. Uh, okay, I'll take that. I'll take all the ammo out of that. Uh, that was handy. I collected this 38 ammo when I was uh, when I was in the shop buying something. I was able to sell a stack of 38 ammo. You get one cap each, and so that uh, supplemented a lot of money. Cause that 38 ammo adds up. Try and find this one up here. Uh, uh, not really worth it. Let's go. We only have um, a pipe rifle and those goggles. I'll take that. And I can make my own, and I've got spare ones. I'm not really short of money anymore. My, my settlements are self-sufficient and I've got a shitload of money in the bank. I don't know how much it is that I'll have to show you. And, um, oh, be able to warm up. Okay, back out into the streets. I'm glad I've got pretty strong armour now. <coughs> I'll take a few uh, shots. Oh, good neighbour. Shit. I bet you when I want to come here on purpose, I'm going to have problems. Because I... Cause I've got an idea how to get here, but... I need this way and the other way to get... to get in here, you know, and you got to try and get on the, this truck, which is nearly impossible, and you got to get, so that means you got to go find side streets. Okay, I'll take this guy out. Thought I could see someone there with my, um, fusion is just faint. Take a duck out, a double. Um, that wasn't smart. <laughs> well, I probably should have used my AK, because that's got a silencer. <coughs> yeah, well, too busy talking and, um, oh, look, the mist is appearing and disappearing. Oh, there's someone there. All right, there you go. So, yeah. Ooh, I tried to shoot him in the nads. Ooh, ooh. Hmm. I should probably should be trying to shoot him with my, uh, 10 mil. <laughs> There's someone else there. Ooh, 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 okay. Oh, fuck all. I wish I could throw a grenade in there, that'd be, that'd be ideal. I'd clean up half of them. I'd clean up two or three of them. Get a bit of, oh, get that thing out of the way. Ooh. I can't, I don't dare use Psycho Jet because I won't see shit. I uh, could use buff jet that that usually black make make everything black and white. Ooh, fucking Ooh, bullets are ricoch shooting past his head, ricocheting near his feet. Um, 
they got a trough frontal assault. I don't know if you know. Like I'm, I'm, I got, I'm supposed to have a silenced weapon, and the suppressor would hide any flash, I believe. Oh, there he is. Oh, there's two of them there. Um, they're running around like with, like chooks with their head cut off. Uh, I wonder if I could throw a grenade. It's pretty far away. Oh, that's a fire. Um, yeah, it's, it'd be, oh, it'd be right, it'd be maximum. But they're not there anymore. So, Rugger, I think I'm in level 3 or 4 demolition, so I, my grenades and all that are very powerful. I, can, I know how to make a strong, powerful grenade now. <coughs> Jeez, I could do the drink. I think I'm pretty sure I've got better AKs or that, you know, that homemade rifle. I'm going to take uh, my um, Harry out. Oh, look, he only had a switchblade. Jeez, I, well, that's the way I've got to go. I don't really have to go down there. So, I'll just have a bit of a sneaky poo. Or looky. Look. <sighs> Bloody people dead everywhere. Yeah, take that. Get a get a mag full of ammo out of it. It's got me fuck how all these tires are lying around here. Whoa, where they get them from? <laughs> yeah, I can understand all this being. Oh look! Oh fuck! Oh oh oh! Fucking hell! Oh! Better get out undercover. Oh, dog meat. Jeez, he took a few to the chest. Oh, he had, um, he had some combat armor. Not saying my fire was accurate. Oh, there's a service rifle. Oh, right, a veteran. Oh, look at the armor these guys had. Pretty strong armor. Okay. I've been here before, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this is still full of armor from the last time I was there. I was here. Uh, I'm not going to go in there because they'll just sidetrack me. I, oh, fuck off. It's no use me going and picking all that shit up and stashing in a fireplace and I've got to go and go through all my inventory again and end up with crap I don't like, like those decal things of which I forget to take out. And okay, I'll take that, that, that. Ah, there's the books. So I mean to go, this is where I came across that ghoul and that dead guy, so I'll be, be mean to go to visit this bookstore. I haven't been in there yet, I don't think. Should go and have a look around here. Is there all these old spots? Yes, but I've got other things to do. I've got to keep on going on my... So easy to get distracted in town here. Mm, following the Freedom Trail. Maybe should follow the Freedom Trail and uh, get rid of some of the bandits and mutants that... Uh, okay, there's Penuel Hall. The last time we are here, there's... Okay, open market. Last time we are here, um, uh, oh, money, shit, okay, um, there's mutants here, so needless to say there'll be mutants inside, <coughs> bottles, that'd be handy, I'll go and, um, be able to, uh, milk my cows, okay, Chips, oh great. You sit down there with a cylinder of them and cold beer and watch TV. Uh, I'll take the aluminum. Um, okay, where's all the mutants? There's, obviously there's um, people attempted to raid the place and all die from the super mutants. 
Oh, I stuck all the excess weapons I didn't need back in the cash register. Um, where are you? I know you're there. You're all sneaky, hiding. Oh, there's a dog. Oh, shoot someone's dog. I pressed the wrong button. <sighs> oh shit, one of them's got... Yeah, that's right, one of them's got a rocket launcher. Okay, I'll shoot your dog. He's not going to be happy with me doing that. I should probably just put one in the dog. He dead. And... Fuck. Come on. Ooh. Shit. Ooh. Luckily, this rocket launching guy hasn't got a dr Oh, fuck this hit button. Luckily, he hasn't. Oh, he's trying to. He nearly got bearings on me. Oh, now he's fucked by my hands. <coughs> Alright, oh, there we go. Oh, dog. I oh, threw a grenade down there. Oh. Dog meat, what's dog meat then? Oh, dog meat's friggin' cool. He's trying to bash dog meat. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh, oh shot. Come on, dog meat, stay back here. Dog meat, don't get involved. Oh, look, there's another one down there. Oh, where is he? Go on to the side, I'll put a fresh mag on. And, um, oh, there he is. Gotcha. Oh, go and stand there and beat your chest as I'm beating 7.62 rounds into your... Ooh, shot him in the nads. Nads first. Um, it's a pity, you know, you can't have this... Be, be having the salsa on in a big noisy fight. But, See if there's any down the side here. No, I reckon there's that rocket launching guy still on the other side. Oh, I might have killed him. Uh, but there's still one on the other side. I remember there was one behind um, a wall or something. It was a real pain in the ass to get last time. Yeah, I'll come out. No drama about that. Ah, jeez. I know I'm thirsty. I'll have some Yagai ribs and I'll have some water. Oh, Yagai ribs uh, give me damage resistance. Okay, well, I need a cigarette. I'd like to have smoke. But no time for stuff like that. Okay, skin pack. Oh, all this leather gear. There he is. Oh, oh I gotta shoot between all this crap. No. Uh, uh, just can't get a big clear shot because someone just got to collide and all that. Yeah, ooh, oh, I got, <laughs> got him. <laughs> come out, come out, wherever you are. <coughs> Face kiss the, the scaffolding floor. Oh, another raider. Oh, look at those. Okay. No, I'm not interested in your sledges. Um, take Harry out for some short range work. Oh, no, I don't really need that. I'm sure there's going to be enough loot in uh, Finuel Hall. Uh, I'll take that. Red Rage uh, hunting rifle. Uh, plastic. That, that, that. Oh, I've got to stick some, um, oh, I stuck that, the weapons I didn't need back on that corpse. Ah, I think it's good, um, probably, okay. This is probably running long enough. Oh, fancy hairbrush, go and brush all your hair. Wish you had some, oh, there's one up there. Oh, I stuck all those weapons on him. I've got to get up there and uh, we'll do that and then we'll call us an episode because this has been going on really, really long. Um, 
Alright. Oh, oh shit. Okay. Alright. Missile launcher. Yeah, you're the one with the launcher. You must you ran out of missiles. Thank fuck for that. Ugh. Oh, I'm pretty sure there's someone else up there, but I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm sure I'm gonna get enough shit from all these people. Nice and warm here. I'll just stand here and have a smoke and uh, say, see you later. Bye,